I am in Osaka, Japan. Just arrived and passed the security check. I was the lucky one to get a random security check and spent extra 10 minutes, but it was relatively fast. Now I need to find a ticket booth for me to buy a pass for me to go to Kyoto from the airport. There it is. Hopefully I got on the right train, we'll see. They gave two tickets, one says fair ticket and the other one says limited express. I don't know what the difference is. I have arrived in Kyoto. Uh, that was about just about an hour of uh, the train ride. The train was about 25 US dollars. It was a express train, so it only stopped at roughly four stations until it got to Kyoto. So that was fairly fast, and I got the unreserved seats, which was cheaper, and there was a plenty of seats, so I didn't have to struggle to find a seat or anything, so that was nice. I can tell that Kyoto is a pretty big city. It's quite crowded with a lot of people. Also see a lot of people getting off work as well. Wow, Kyoto station is beautiful. Look at this architecture. Just came out of the Kyoto station and there's the Kyoto Tower. That's nice. Oh, there's a water show too. I booked a hostel that's about $20 per night for three nights. It's only about 13 minute walk from Kyoto Station. So I'm walking there right now. It's so trippy how the cars are flowing on the other side of the road compared to the States or Korea. It's gonna take me some time for me to get used to this. Here's the hostel. Hello. Hi, Hi how are you? Good. Can I have your passport, please? Of course. Came into 7 Eleven on the way, crushed that ramen, and still a little hungry. get one of these it's the first morning in Kyoto Japan and I wanted to be ready by 8 30 but I slept right through and now it's 10 a.m. first of all I need food this will do the job Kiyomizu Dera which is a popular temple in Kyoto is only about 30 minutes away from my hostel so I'm walking there right now. It's a beautiful day. This is a cool looking truck. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Damn, they still got these. What is this place? I stumbled upon Toyokoni Jinja, which is a shrine that is on the way. Oh, this is could find. Well, this is pretty big. Oh, these must be some sort of lucky charms.
Wow, Kyoto is super peaceful so far. I love it. It's incredible how clean the streets are. I don't even see any cigarette butt or any garbages. I mean, there's not even a garbage can. Where do they throw the garbages? Love the designs of these houses. A lot of these houses kept their designs, like the traditional Japanese designs. I mean, look at these windows. And I love that they kept their culture and preserved it and combined it to the modern design. I'm starting to see a lot of tour buses. I'm definitely going in the right direction. Long gone are the peaceful moments and peaceful streets. I am sort of at the beginning section of Kiyomizu Dera. This is the, the main road that goes to Kiyomizu Dera. And it's just completely filled with people and tour buses. The buses are not even moving. They got these rental shops for renting kimonos, which is the traditional Japanese dress. Uh, it's similar to hanbok in Korea, where at Gyeongbokgung you can borrow those and go to the palace, walk around, take a picture like a king. I have stepped into Kiyomizu Dera. Holy smokes, there are a lot of people here. Ticket to Kiyomizu Dera is 400 yen, which is about four dollars. Let's go in and check out what's in there. This must be a popular place for a field trip from high school. This is another building of temple. The color is so vibrant. Oh yeah, this is a nice viewpoint. Ah, the wind is so nice. Seems like there's something more down here. Oh, so this is a lineup where you get the water. And what do they do with it? They wash their hands with it. Interesting. It must be like sacred water or something because they're washing their hands with it. The water must be super clean because some people are drinking that water too. Wow, that's a sick view. I went around the loop in Kiyomizu Dera and there's an alleyway that is right across from the entrance. So I'm gonna walk down and see what's down there. This is black sesame. Super chewy. Mm. They sell chestnuts here, just like Korea. What do they sell here? It's like green tea mixed with white chocolate. So many different types. Ooh, they got the steamed buns. And there's espresso black sesame ice cream. 
辺からいろんなお味のやつ箸を使用しています。それはこの皆さん。What is this one? This is sweet potato. These are all rice cakes? Yeah, all rice cakes. Ah, okay. No meat? No meat. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's getting more crowded. This is crazy. Came into an alleyway and now it's peaceful and so nice. Time to grab lunch. I did a quick search on Google Maps and found a Japanese restaurant with 4.8 stars. Apparently it's ran by two grandmas, so it sounds legit. <laughs> this has really nice price for each of the dumbodies, which are rice bowls. It's only about 800 to 900. Yens, which is about nine dollars. I love the vibe here. Feels like I'm at a Japanese house. That looks amazing. Tastes really clean, and it doesn't taste like they put MSG in here. It really tastes like just homemade food, like good quality homemade food. Deep fried eggplants. <laughs> This is a very touristy area, so I expected very low quality food at a high price. Uh, but that was just amazing. Like that was a perfect bowl of udon. Time to look for a coffee shop. found that there's another shrine called Yasaka Shrine which is about 12 minute walk that must be the Yasaka Shrine so it turns out this is actually another temple called Hokanji Temple I'm impressed by how many temple buildings there are they're all so close by Right beside Okanji Temple, there is this place called Yasaka Koshindo, which is a small temple with colorful balls. That's what they're known for. <laughs> so people wrote their wishes on these balls. The weather in Kyoto is just perfect today. It's about 23 degrees and right now it's early October. If I were to come back to Japan, it would be now or around the cherry blossom season for sure. Okay, so this is Yasaka Shrine. This shrine is pretty close to Kiyomizudera. It's only about 13 minutes away. Oh, so they're ringing the bell. Must be for good luck. That must be the sacred water as people are washing their hands. Gonna check out another temple called Chion In which is very close by. It's only about a five minute walk. Apparently it was built in the 17th century. 
So that's a long time ago. So I'm very curious about how much they preserved it from that time. This is Cheon Inn and this temple building is massive. This place is not crowded at all. Score. I wonder what's on top of those stairs. These are quite steep, but I'm gonna have to check it out. So the building down there, that was just a gate for this whole temple. Holy moly. These buildings are even bigger. The buildings here don't have orange color. Not sure what the difference is. These are huge. They're so big that somebody managed to get coins up there. <laughs> that seems like it's the main building as it's the biggest. There is a garden called Yuzen N Garden. Let's see how much it is. 300 yen. Hmm. I'll pass. I'm on my way to meet a friend I got to know in Korea. Uh, we got to know each other in the same building that we were staying at. Uh, she has been traveling in Japan and coincidentally she is traveling in Kyoto. So we're gonna meet up and we're gonna check out a shrine. Yodoyabashi, okay. This water must be for good luck. I think so. Like if you go up to the mountain, yeah. Yeah, other. I can't even imagine how busy it'll be on the weekend. This is the starting point of the section where there are multiple gates. It's not as busy as I thought it was going to be. So, above would be the best part. In the morning, it must be so busy. This must be the section I saw on IG. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Is there like lucky charms, right? How many of those posts are? I wonder whose names these are. This one's just chilling here. That's so flexible. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that leg. Hello. That's it. <laughs> What's up there? There's so many stairs here. <laughs> it's a good workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably climbed at least a thousand steps. And here's the view. Daddy? No. Mosquitoes up in the mountain are gnarly. Oh, 
This shrine is very different from the other ones because this one has many of the small ones compared to other shrines at different locations. So, different one. This is a reason why it's hard to see fat Asians because there's so many stairs in subway stations. I don't think they will run us over. Oh, actually it's green. Yes, we're here. A little bit of lineup. This is not too bad of a lineup. Yeah. If there are too many people, then we have our Burger King. Are you wanting homo rice? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's try it. Hopefully it's good. Wow, everything looks so good. Yeah. I'ma get mm -hmm. the hamburger steak. That looks amazing. Have a little piece. Yeah, yeah. go for it. Yeah. It's good, right? It's so soft. Like it just melts away. That's a wrap for the first full day in Kyoto. That was very shrineful. Thanks for watching.